Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Durham Bulls. Brendan McKay, a Pennsylvania-born lefty, gets the ball to start here. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Digging in, Brendan Lowe. He will lead this one off today. Off the afternoon for Tampa Bay, the second base, number eight. First delivery to him on the way. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. First pick, one o'clock. The 0 1. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Here it comes, 0-2. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for the ball. Lots of sunshine in the forecast. 83 degrees here at first pitch. One and two, here it comes. Two and two. Hit hard to the right side. Reined in. Throw on to first in time. One away. Got it. Cut it. The left field. Off the Meadows. So one away here with the bases empty. And Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. And the pitch. Cut fastball inside, ball one. Meadows is usually a right fielder, but he's playing in left field today. Looked like that one tied him up a bit, a swing and a miss. McKay is a strikeout master on the mound. It will not be uncommon to see him reach a double digit strikeout total when he goes out there. He uses that to his advantage in just about every start. He sure does, Matty. And I think one of the keys for him is he gets ahead in the count early. You'll know if he's on when he gets strike one, strike two early on, and then he expands the zone, has great command of his pitches, and has a knack for making hitters chase pitches out of the strike zone. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. This is why it's so hard to be successful as a hitter when you fall behind in the count. One and two, you're probably expecting some sort of off-speed pitches, but when the pitcher offers up a good, hard fastball, it's pretty hard to adjust and catch up to it. And that will bring in Yandy Diaz. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. The first baseman, V Man Choi. G Man Choi, the next to hit, as he can't catch up on a fastball to letters, and it's strike one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Comes set, the 0 1. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0 and 2. Now the 0 and 2, and that's off his leg on the mound. Fortunately, he's able to stick with it and get the out at first, and that'll put an end to the inning. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Blake Snell will be the starter for the Rays in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? 
Hey, we're getting a look at a real competitive pitcher here. Career ERA in the low threes, and that's not an easy thing to do in the day and age of small ballparks and guys swinging for the fences. Rock solid pitcher, does a lot of things well, and it'll be fun to watch him work in this one here today. Into the box now, Lucius Fox. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here it comes. pitch you rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle and man as a hitter probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again now a swing and a fly ball and it's a foul ball And he sends it out of play. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. 2-2 two, two, one more time. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Kiermaier's got a read on it. Looks it into his glove. And there's one gone. Batting center. The center fielder. Oh, yeah. O'Grady. Stepping in. Brian O'Grady. First pitch coming. Here it is. That's the ball. Bases are empty. One man out. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. And he gets this fastball over. It's two and one. Great job of doubling up with the fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. Lifted in the air out to left. Meadows is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Batting third. The first baseman. Nate Standing in, Nate Lowe looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Oh, Ball one. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0 and 2. Didn't get it though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on one and one. Fastball well outside. Gets the sign, the two and one. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. We've played an inning. No score here on the show. A 
Next for the Rays, Hunter Renfro. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Hunter Renfro. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. Chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2 0 now. Now, a drive by Renfro. This is hit well out to left. Left fielder looking up. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A solo shot here to left as they've taken a one run lead. Well if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. That is good. Stepping in now, Jose Martinez. Okay. Yes, he'll take Martinez. a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. and two the count to Jose Martinez hey as a hitter right here you can't be leaning out over I know those first two pitchers were in the outer half but nothing saying he can't ride a fastball in right here ah, and he pulled the string a bit too sharply there on a curveball as it's down around the shoe tops hey the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one no outs nobody on Ball two. Now this ball's hit deep to left field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And they'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. Left fielder really never had a chance at that one at all. It was over his head before he knew it, bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. Standing in now, Willie Adamas. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. One and no delivery. Swung on and missed. One and one. Martinez stands at second with no outs. And there's ball two now. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. Well, to me, it just looks like he's really aiming the ball a little bit right now. And it's funny, when you do that, you usually don't have as good a control as you do when you just let it go free and easy. Full count now, three and two. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. 
Kiermaier is simply an all-around great defensive outfielder. Not only does he have great range and great hands, he's also got a plus arm, one that base runners and base coaches certainly have to be mindful of. Absolutely. When you are in the meeting room preparing for this guy, it is the first thing that jumps off the page. Do not take the extra base. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Here now is Mike Zanino. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Runner in scoring position with two gone. A ball and a strike to Mike Zanino. Slicing foul. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. High in the air out towards shallow right. Lucas is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Rays off and running early on the solo home run. On to the bottom of inning number two. It's now 1 0 Tampa. Plate Nathan Lucas. He'll match up with Blake Snell now to lead off the inning. First pitch on its way. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch. That can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. The one two. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non competitive off speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Here now, the two two. Swung on and missed strike three. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Uh, no doubt, man. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. Snell. A 27 year old, he throws a four seam fastball, a curve, a changeup, and a slider. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. And there's a swing and a miss, two and one now. Pitch. Popped him up. Choi has a play. He's got it, and there are two down now. Batting fifth, the designated hitter, Dylan Goodman. Next will be the designated hitter, Dylan Cousins. will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Here's the first pitch to him. In there, 0 and 1. 
Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, that's back to back really good sliders. I wouldn't be surprised if he threw another one right here. Looks like he's got that slide ball in his back pocket right now. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's 1-2. and two. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away. But that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close. The 1-2. He's at the knees and called strike three. Wow, that's a rarity. A 1-0 game in baseball these days. Both of these pitchers pitched awfully well. It's a shame one of them had to lose this game. A single run good enough to do it today. 1-0 the final score. Tampa Bay took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Blake Snell is the winning pitcher of record. Brendan McKay only completed two innings and is charged with the loss. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and this has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head over to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious Rays. One run on three hits. No errors. They left two men on base. For the Bulls, no runs on no hits. No errors, and they left no runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 20 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.